Hello and welcome to yeah the season continuation of 18 Wheels of Steel Extreme Trucker 2. I hope it's noticeable, but I took the volume of the um, music and turned it down because I couldn't hear myself on the video, and that means that you couldn't hear me on the video either. So with no further ado, let's play. Um, yeah, we're in driver Mike, and we're gonna do the boat. Oh yeah. From Thompson Falls, no, from pa Paradise to Thompson Falls. Oh yeah. I just love the music, it's rock and roll, man. I would definitely be a trucker, I think. A train? A train where? 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 Where is the train? Bloody hell. Well. Now nah, just the first lights. Um, let's see. Ah. Well, that's all we need. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I sneezed. Um. Now go into the second view and uh, open up the map. There we go. Yeah, there's only one way we can go. Look at how heavy the load is. A truck can barely handle the, the weight of uh, the train. No, the, not the train, the... What you call it? It's the, 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 the boat, yeah, the boat. Not the train, the boat. So, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm very sorry though uh, that I release all my videos at the same time, but I just... That evening I wasn't feeling like making up a schedule and releasing the videos in a scheduled order. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. I will probably dive in that once, but I'm not a bloody transit. Oh well. Oh, by the way, if you think uh, my voice has changed a bit, yes, I am a having a cold. I'm a bit sick, but it doesn't matter because it makes my voice more low, and I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so. How are you doing? Have you done something fun, or is life being boring as uh, as usual? My life is quite energetic at the moment. Ah, uh, yeah. I've, uh, I have driving lessons, and uh, yeah, I am doing now uh, what for a week or something, because Monday, Monday the thirteenth. My, uh, not my birthday, but my, uh, my exam is there. Yes. Got something to tell to you people. Oh, damn it. How is the diesel? How is our diesel doing? Oh, we're in the green. Oh, well. Oh, well, you boogers. Let's hammer on. With our truck. Sorry for snorting my nose. Uh, yeah, let's see. This is not a pizza liner. Or a pizza built. But from the, uh, it might be Canworth or something. At least it's got a bug shield on the front nose. Those antennas on the right and the left. Those are for parking. If you want to park, you from the driver's seat you can't see where the most right or outer corner is from your truck and the most left outer corner from the front of your truck. You, you can't see it. 
So that's why they put those uh, antennas there, and sometimes they even have lights on them. For the same reason, but then at night. At night you can't see where you are when parking in, and to uh, prevent damage from happening to both the truck and the car you're eventually going to hit, uh, they had yeah, a place two antennas on the front, which I think is quite clever because you know what? Sh what should you do else? I don't know. Murder a prostitute or something. Oh, damn, damn! Ah! Stop, you bastard! Okay, job info because I have no idea where to go. You know what? Let's make a right here because it's a dirt track, I think, and it makes the journey a little bit more interesting. I can't pass in front of him. My driving instructor wouldn't let me. It's all over the grass, but seeing that this truck is quite a quite a handful and quite big, yeah, I think I'm allowed to. By the way, I think uh, in this game they did a really, really good job in making the truck feel big because this thing feels like a massive piece of machinery. It really does. Hey, Farming Simulator 2013 on the left. Yep. Uh, anyway, it feels so incredibly big, this thing. And I think they did a really good job with that but because, you know, it's a very nice massive thing if I keep snorting my nose you should tell me because if you can hear it I know that and I can stop it and if you can't hear it then that's a good thing because that means that I can just snort my nose in front of the microphone not that that's nice to do but uh, no it's the next one is that a train track? Oh, I'm just hallucinating again. But the noises were real, man. The noises were real, man. Okay. Indicate for the left side. There's a little Toyota van. Don't look left or right. Just turn onto the road. I'm a big truck. People should watch out for me and I shouldn't have to watch out for other people. Even though I do have to, um, that doesn't mean that I'm doing it, but I have to do it, and I'm not doing it. I'm a scrub. Yesterday I watched a video about cop coupling devices on these type of trucks. Apparently they call these trailer truck hitches uh, fifth wheel trailer hitches. Which I don't really get because the trailer most of the time has two wheels. A lorry most of the time has six wheels. Or I can have four wheels. So it should be a sixth wheel hitch at least. But why is it called fifth? This is not fifth gear. It's sixth gear. No. But anyway, I don't get that. Why? What the f Go. Turn off. Turn off! Bastards! Okay. Those were my warning lights. I turned on there. But I'm not in danger. And I'm not looking to put people in danger, so... Yeah. Running along on my truck and my mule. I've got a horn. doesn't really work. I can't make no music on my horn. There are games uh, which include horns which instantly work and then you can kind of, you know, play music on the horn. Which is fun. But since that doesn't work here, it doesn't work with all these trucking games, so I think that's something they programmed in on purpose. Which I don't get, because it's fun to play with a horn. 
I actually have one of those trucking horns lying around here somewhere. It doesn't work though, because uh, the membrane that vibrates due to the air and actually makes the sound, that's torn. So I'll either have to make a new membrane or I'll have to buy a new membrane. But anyway, until that happens, I basically don't have my trucking horn working. Now I don't really care for the thing, but it's fun if it works. I have a compressor standing around here and uh, an air compressor. A car spazzed. And uh, I've tried the thing, uh, the membrane totally, completely t tore due to that thing, so too much air pressure. Oh, damn it. So I think there should be something like a uh, air pressure regulator valve uh, in between the actual uh, horn and the comp air compressor. But basically it blew a hole through the membrane. And really it's not that big of a compressor. So I, I don't really get how that works, but apparently it's too too heavy of a stream of air that it produces for the for the truck and horn to to you know work. Yep. It's basically like a speaker. There's a membrane that starts vibrating and that makes noise. But instead of using uh, magnetism they use air pressure press pressurized air yeah I don't really know how to call it but we're here so let's indicate to the left everybody look to the left left and uh, yeah we're going down to a nice Montana farm I think I think uh, that's a drop off point of course at the water because we have a boat and there we go. I might be late. Uh, no, I'm not actually. 24 miles. Damage, no percent. And I've got 393 points, which is the maximum amount. Oh, yeah. Man. Continue. So, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of 18 Wheels of Steel Extreme Trucker 2. And I will see you in the next video. Yes, the last location. Yes. Well. There's only one choice we've got, isn't there? The Tuk Toy Yak Tuk Winter Road. Well, I don't have another choice, so yeah. So that will be the next location where we will be driving in. Then we'll be going uh, back down to Montana, down to the Jungus Road, down to Australia, and then down to Bangladesh. Yeah, that's how that works. And I will see you in the next video.